But where or where could we possibly be going? When it's not even 4 a.m., off to the opal mine we go. To hopefully find some big opal. morning or afternoon and how are you now howdy that's travis i'm kevin and we're h and h prospecting thanks for tuning back in friends we appreciate you coming along for the adventure try to get more out i know we've been a little few and far in between but we're getting back at it today we're out at red october 2 which happens to belong to a good buddy of ours jamie aka terrapin rocks make sure you guys check him out on youtube i'll put a link in the description below but we're out on his fire opal claim, or Oregon Sunstones, but fire opal, pretty. Uh, right behind us is actually a public pit, so anyone can drive up, check it out, go through here. But if you want to go where the big fire opals are, which will take you up to the hill, make sure you get a hold of Jamie, ask him. He's a pretty nice guy. He might actually let you come out here and dig it yourself. But with that, pitter patter, let's get at her. Made it to the top of the trail here. You can see camp clear down there and that other public pit right below us. I'll make a quick turnaround. And you can see the pit that we're working in today. The gold's a lot of fun. And piece. Already found the pit. That'll be a good thing. Pitter patter. So Sam and Jamie, I guess, opened up this scene yesterday. And they're going to be cool enough to let Kevin dig it. Check it out, guys. You can actually see the opal in the rock here. Oh, it's all orange. Look at that. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. I'm excited. Fun, fun. Nice. So I should go check on Travis. And of course he's being over here all quiet because he's finding stuff. Look at that guys. I gotta come check on him and make sure he don't stick the good stuff in his pockets first. <laughs> Get it, buddy. Beautiful. Lucky muddy mess down there. Take a gold miner to an opal claim and he will still find water and mud to dig in. Jeez, in the desert even. Kevin found his first real nice piece. I can't wait to get that home and shiny. Thanks, Jamie. Show you guys this seam I found and I'm carefully working out. It is busy here, you can tell. Lots of people. Awesome. But look, Mr. Sam put me onto this pocket today and it's just been paying out great. Look at this, guys. It's going to be fun getting this all very carefully pulled out. This is nothing like gold mining where you just slam your hammer around and get rocks out of the way. You gotta be gentle. Otherwise, you end up with shards. But hey, all the shards that are coming out, we're gonna put those in pay dirt and little gift bags and send them all to you guys. So, not wasted. Pitter patter. <laughs> my 
first time opal hunting? I think Kevin is killing it. Oh, that's a cool piece. Oh. What a great time we had collecting these at Red October 2 with Mr. Jamie. Unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties and the camera was not wanting to work for us, so we didn't get to record much while we're up there. So, we're actually now just starting to lay some stuff out, and we're going to try shining and cutting a few of these pieces. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Really excited about this. Your mind, Travis is over there getting a few of his laid out too. And all the excitement of getting prepared for this trip, we totally forgot to get that pay dirt sent out to you, Mr. Freedom Prospecting. I apologize. So what we've actually done is a little bonus. Throwing in some pieces of that fire opal in your pay dirt for you. So we'll get that sent out to you today. And yeah. Some nice pieces. I'm excited to see what she's Dang, duders. Terrapin rocks, guys. I'll put a link in the description below. Make sure you guys check them out. Hit them up. You can, you can probably come get you some opal twos. So Travis thought ahead and brought home some of this black opal that's less valuable. So that way we can practice on how this opal will actually cut in the host rock. So practice on some not some not some not so nice pieces before we move on to the stuff with nicer color and higher quality. So this is looking like it could potentially be a nice piece. Looks like it's got color going all the way through it. I'm gonna try shine it up. See what I come up with. Bliss. It's not completely polished or anything, but just cut most of the host rock off of it. Pretty awesome. So here are just a few of the opals that we've started to clean and shine up just a little bit. Another huge big thanks to Jamie aka Terrapin Rocks. Make sure you guys check out his YouTube. We'll have the description below. Cannot wait to get back out there and work with that crew again and hopefully even get our own opal claim is what it's looking like. Everyone thanks again for subscribing if you haven't yet. Hope you like what you see. You know what to do. Hit them buttons. Follow us on Facebook. We appreciate you guys. And as always, get that shiny.